three Ch children of darkness and light. It's your favorite Lord Miro Kazinko. Back for another set of Danganronpa. That was the wrong one. Goodbye, despair. Continue trial. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have. The lock was on the. Are you talking about the bro? You can use that as a. By doing that, the. Waited till we get. And suddenly. It so they look like. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Sorry. I can't the killer is still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. No, that's wrong. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber, maybe? I see! That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah. I think so, too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, it must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Yes, yes you did. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. <laughs> that is fair. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was awake, they must have done it earlier than that. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm. That scrap of paper, is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway?
That almost turned out perfect. <laughs> Scrap, isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? You're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting, the tear in the... See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was a... And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearance? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper... That was a fail on my part. Coming together. This is actually quite fun. I 
Got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music game. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It then, when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monami 2.5D? Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. <coughs> You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although, the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Then... Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying. An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? 
because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic del- <laughs> You're one to talk! When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? I agree with that. <laughs> Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. And it's Hyoko's blood! Hyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! <laughs> Is that it? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs. Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just about you can see a nice nightmare. Okay, blood. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet. Ha! Ah, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Allow me to cut through those words. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things. You don't. Yes, I do. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time. Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up... Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in a. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! 
think about it. A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all. Your sex. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito, what do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Yoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? <laughs> impossible then she never would have killed her to begin with she was afflicted by the despair disease remember that means anything can happen but if ibuki's the killer she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders right after hajime saw the hanged body the sudden appearance of hyoko's body the killer had to be alive at that time then she was alive <gasps> when hajime first discovered ibuki she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined... Hmm, I see. There's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, just what was that video Hajime saw? According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. <laughs> so, maybe we should figure out who was able to... So, if our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi, since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't... It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually fly? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. <laughs> We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. Uh. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi... No, that's wrong! Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You... you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Hey, oh la la! What kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Too much info. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, 
The killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation destroy the weakest alibi. Hmm. Not quite. But committing an imitation murder, is that really... Taking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much. That's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for fa I don't like this child suspended thing. Hiya! Stop it! I don't know what just happened. I'm Mona Me. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. <laughs> Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? Supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody. No, this definitely cannot be allowed. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself, and don't forget to say frequently. Huh? Did I confuse you? If so. I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why- Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, man. Because it didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monarch. It's not just that. Come on. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating. Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation... But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duck. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but... That attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Um... I understand that imitation wasn't enough, 
but aren't you making a but it's not just the poor imitation there are also other strange details she's way too smart strange details like what like for example why so you're saying the truth behind heel i have no freaking clue what you're trying to say However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. summoned her if that's not it maybe she got abducted by the killer no maybe she went of her own free will I agree with that it's just as Sonia said she went to the music venue of her own free will so Exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did- Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the- Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? I won't lose! <laughs> Are you saying my gut was wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? No, th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak with her. And that's why the killer targeted her! But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! Crap! Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! That's the proof she was abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all! Hold on! Try remembering he her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those words! Give me a second. <laughs> the reason Kyoko's kimono was messed to. up was because she wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full length mirror. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her 
admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hyoko would go to the mu- Though that may not apply to Sonya. Since Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fat. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... it was an unfortunate... coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, you don't know the most important part. Hey, Nagito. Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh. Am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. Nagito, you're a dick. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally... Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death, and walked around the music venue tampering with the cr There'd be bloody footprints left in various places. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There- You know, we already finished- uh, That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it. Are you freaking kidding me? That's strange. This is strange? with this if Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it huh? there weren't yeah that stepladder was completely clean no footprints or bloodstains at all did you notice such a small detail how amazing I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in But that's something only Hajime would know. So <sighs> Hajime, I leave it in your hands. Well, I'm gonna call it here, my children, darkness. If you enjoyed this video, drop it a like and share. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. Until next time, stay safe and have fun. Until next time, when we hopefully finish this case. Anyway, my children, boy, run your have fun and stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>